Hi, I'm Chris, and this is an AMD Radeon HD7770 GPU. This is a one gigabyte Radeon graphics card released in 2012. Uh, so this was, unlike many of my other GPUs that kind of look nice, this was actually a kind of a, an everyman's GPU. This was never one of those fancy flagships that I always show off. This was kind of a mid-level GPU. Um, so I have done a decent amount of testing with this today, just to kind of see, uh, you know, is it any use at all? Um, and it, it sucked, but it didn't suck worse than expected. Um, it had the same basic set of capabilities as say like, uh, like an HD uh, 7970, for example, just slower. Because this is, this is the same technology as a 7970, which means it's actually pretty similar technology to the first, uh, to the first generation R9 GPUs as well. Um, it's just slower. So what I found with this thing is that, <clears throat> uh, generally speaking, it kind of bottomed out on capability on games that were like 20, like 2016. So games that are well optimized by today's standards, so you're talking Titanfall 2, you're talking uh, like Battlefield 1, maybe uh, like Call of Duty Advanced Warfare, games like that will run fairly well on this at 1080p. Uh, I wouldn't be, I didn't test Battlefield, or I'm sorry, I didn't test Call of Duty Advanced Warfare, but I bet you might be able to hit like low 1440s. That game actually will run on just about anything from what I've seen. But um, but uh, I would strongly recommend against buying this uh, just because working GPUs tend to, to only sell for so low. And so the money that you could spend on this, you'd be better off. You'd probably find a 7970, an R9 290X, even like a GTX 980 for the same $25 to $40 on the used market. So it's just, it's not that it's bad for what it is. It's just not good for the minimal amount of money you're going to have to spend to get it. So anyway, I hope you guys found this quick look at the Radeon HD 7770 interesting. And thanks for watching.